If you've got an Origin account and a bunch of EA games and you'd like to be able to play those on the Steam Deck, then this is a tutorial of how to get that installed and set up and running. That way you can have that catalog of games right there on your Steam Deck ready to play. It's a pretty simple process if you follow the prompts in this video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and show you how to install the Origin Launcher on your Steam Deck to play your Origin games. Let's go ahead and get into it. This wasn't written with your comfort in mind. Nah. Made my decision, wasn't tough to decide. Nah. Me and my boys, we get it done every time. <laughs> Gotta earn it, you can't just jump in the line. You'll get rushed to the side. I, I, I top my division, I've been building since I started. In the parking lot, I parked it. I came in while picking targets. My career cannot be tarnished. I'm a champion regardless. Celebrate, but this is a different kind of lucha party. We are not alone. Before I kick this video off, if you enjoy the content that I put out as far as tutorials, Steam Deck videos, reviews of video games, tech reviews, reactions, and so much more, then make sure you sub to the channel, ding the notification bell, that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. And if you want to support the content that we do, we do have Patreon over on patreon.com slash Mikel Casanova, as well as channel memberships here on YouTube, with you having early access to various videos and projects that I'm working on behind the scenes input on upcoming projects I'm also going to be working on, videos and otherwise, and so much more. So with that being said, also check us out over on Teespring and TeePublic for some of our merch if you want to get some cool swag. We got a lot of things over there and also have affiliate links too. So if you pick up any Steam Deck accessories that will be linked in the description down below in the video, no additional charge to you, but I do get a little bit of a kickback, which helps out this channel overall. And if you want to take the conversation further and talk about the Steam Deck and other things, we got Discord as well as Gilded with links for both in the description down below. So that being said, if you're ready, let's go ahead and show you how to put the Origin Launcher on your Steam Deck. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do from here is you're going to want to click on Steam and you're going to go to Power and you're going to make sure you go to Switch to Desktop. And once that's done, then we can go forward because everything is going to be need to be done on the desktop side and once it's done on the desktop side over here then we can go ahead and get into everything else that needs to be done to get this up and going so let's go ahead and get into that so if you want to install the origin launcher on your steam deck then basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the install package it's a thing client unfortunately if you're using the steam deck or a linux based platform you're not going to be able to download it so you're going to need to utilize your pc or a mac to be able to download it and then once you have the file just make sure you put it on like a flash drive move it over to your steam deck and once you've got that done you'll have it here now what you're going to want to do from this point going forward is you're going to want to open up steam and then you're going to want to go to add game add non-steam game then you're going to go browse and if you're already here at home deck and downloads this is where i put my stuff go to all files and here what you're going to want to do is find the setup which is right here origin then setup click open and then that should be the only thing i have installed uh, selected so add selected programs and then once it's added just scroll down to o which well, my dyslexia is kicking in i'm like oh i passed it uh so it's right here so what you're going to want to do is go to properties Go to compatibility, make sure you click this and put it in experimental or whichever the highest proton you have is. I just like to use experimental. Close this, click play, and it should start the installation process, which can take uh, a couple seconds to start getting into effect. As you'll see, this little pop up here will happen. Then you'll click install origin you can leave everything as it is do the acknowledgement click continue and then it'll just start the installation process going forward it shouldn't take that long at all and now once it's done with the the installation it's going to ask you to sign in 
So I'm going to sign into my origin account. Let me take it to my other screen. Okay, now that I put in my information, it should start the process of just getting me fully all logged in. And then I can maximize this here so you can see everything. I can go to my game library. So uh, main game I'm gonna wanna install here is Jedi Fallen Order and maybe Mass Effect Andromeda. So yeah, that's what I'm pretty much gonna do here. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I have Dead Space 2. I might put Dead Space 1 and 2 on here as well. Um, so what you're gonna do from this point, right? So it's installed. You're going to want to do one more configuration that allows it to pop up on the game mode. Because right now, this will only pop up when you're in the desktop mode. So you're gonna need to modify some files or basically two things really, which is the target and start in. Now, you, <laughs> this is where things can get a little complicated. So pretty much try to follow along as best as you can. You're gonna wanna pull up a, you know, another tab in Dolphin. So there's gonna be a pathway you're gonna wanna go to, and I'm going to just include it just for the sake of simplicity. And it's basically gonna take you to where it's comp data. So pretty much you're gonna have this right here. It's going to be home slash deck slash dot local slash share slash theme slash theme apps slash comp at data slash. So you're going to want to look for one that's, it, it can be any of these lower ones that's entered, but right now the one that's different is this right here. So you're going to go into this folder. Your number might be different on your Steam deck. So just basically you're going to want to go into here. Click on it, you're going to want to look into PFX, then drive underscore C, then you're going to want to go to program files, x86, and then if it's in here, you'll see it here. So this is install origin and you have origin game. So you're going to want to go into origin and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look for the origin executable, which is origin.exe. So you're gonna right click on this, and what you're gonna do here is you're going to copy location, and then you're gonna scroll down here. And so what you're gonna do is highlight everything that's in the parentheses, and then you're just going to paste over it. And then in the start in, you're going to copy everything or highlight over and then paste it, but you're going to remove the exe and then you should be set and ready to go from this point on. What I like to do is I like to add this to favorites just because it makes it easier to find uh, when you're in the game mode. So you're just gonna click and go back to the game mode. Now, once you're here, then the only other thing you're going to want to do is go to your library. And then now that you're here in favorites, then you can just go to origin, then set up here and then click play. And what it should do from this point is open up the origin that, as you can see here, is connecting to origin. And then you should just have to sign in if it's not already automatically set. And then from there, just download your games and then, okay, so I'm already configured. Now you're gonna either gonna wanna use your touchpad or you're gonna wanna use a mouse. And so what you're gonna do here, you can browse your games, whatever you have installed. 
And then you can just go to your game library and then whatever you want to install. So let's see how big is uh, Jedi Fallen Order at this point. Game properties. Uh, I'm not sure how big this is. Okay, so this is about 50 gigs. Do I have 50 gigs? I don't know if I have 50 gigs available. Uh, let's see, do I have something smaller? Dead Space 2, perhaps? Okay, we'll do Dead Space 2. So let's go, we're going to go ahead and install it. We'll run it. And then once that's done, and it's doing all of its installations, which apparently it should only take about a minute. <laughs> That's what I get for having that fiber optic uh, speed. So once this is done installing, we'll run it. So until then, we'll just skip to the next part. Okay, now that it's done with the installation, we'll just go over to play. And it'll go ahead and do his cloud sync. And we should be good from this point on. Okay, so as you can see, game runs flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. Um, 60 frames per second. What you had to do with this, and you might have to do this with many other games as well, is turn off the V-Sync. And it should be running fine. And right now, because of how the Steam Deck is, you know, you're in a max out at 1280 by 860 hertz so um everything works i'm using my vitrix gambit controller so i've got that connected and as you can see everything's working flawlessly so yeah this is how you get the origin installer on your steam deck to install your favorite games and that's it for this video. If there are any questions you guys have, make sure you go and check out the Steam Deck Reddit. That's a wealth of information right there. So if you have any questions, the community is so welcoming. They'll really literally help you out with just about anything that you need. But uh, beyond that, if you enjoyed this video, this tutorial, and you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you sub to the channel, ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the latest Steam Deck videos I do as well as tech videos video game reviews and so much more if you want to support the content that i put out make sure you head on over to patreon.com slash michael casanova and become a patreon today or become a channel member here on youtube that way you have early exclusive access to content input on content that i will be making going forward and so much more so with that being said you can also get some merch over on teespring and teepublic and also make sure you join our discord we got a discord as well as the Gilded community. So if you want to talk about the Steam Deck, gaming, and many other things, then make sure you hop on in over there to uh, to be able to do that. So with that being said, I'm Mikhail Casanova signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you have a blessed and aloha rest of your day. And uh, yeah, it's a wrap. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mahalo for making it to the end of the video. And if you found anything of importance or substance that you gained from watching this, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you sub to the channel and ding the notification bell. That way you stay up to date on all the content that you get from my channel, from podcasts, streams, reviews, impressions, reactions, and so much more. If you want to support what we do, we do have channel memberships. We've got Patreon. We've got Subscribestar as well as as coffee which i would love to be drinking some coffee right now which i am mm, that's some good coffee but anyway we got all of that and we also have merch on teespring and tea public so make sure you go check that out and all that being said i just hope to see you in the next video that i put out so hey see you around